Welcome back to day 157 of our Bible in a Year reading plan. Today we will be reading Psalms 83 through 87. So let's dive into the word of God. O oh God, do not be silent. Do not be deaf. Do not be quiet, O oh God. Don't you hear the uproar of your enemies? Don't you see that your arrogant enemies are rising up? They devise crafty schemes against your people. They conspire against your precious ones. Come, they say, let us wipe out Israel as a nation. We will destroy the very memory of its existence. Yes, this was their unanimous decision. They signed a treaty as allies against you. These Edomites and Ishmaelites, Moabites and Hagarites, Gebelites, Ammonites and Amalekites, and people from Philistia and Tyre, Assyria has joined them too and is allied with the descendants of Lot. Do to them as you did to the Midianites. And as you did to Sisera and Jabin at the Kishon River, they were destroyed at Endor and their decaying corpses fertilized the soil. Let their mighty nobles die as Orb and Zeb did. Let all their princes die like Zeba and Zalmunna. For they said, let us seize for our own use these pasture lands of God. O oh my God, scatter them like tumbleweed, like chaff before the wind. As a fire burns a forest and as a flame sets mountains ablaze, Chase them with your fierce storm, terrifying them with your tempest. Utterly disgrace them until they submit to your name, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and terrified forever. Let them die in disgrace. Then they will learn that you alone are called the Lord, that you alone are the most high, supreme over all the earth. Amen. That is the end of Psalms 83, which is a song and, and a psalm written by Asaph. So let's go on to 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of heaven's armies. I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. With my whole being, body and soul, I will shout joyfully to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow builds her nest and raises her young at a place near your altar. O Lord of heaven's armies, my King and my God. What joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessings. They will continue to grow stronger and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. O Lord God of heaven's armies, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. O God, look with favor upon the king, our shield. Show favor to the one you have anointed. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. For the Lord God is our sun and our shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. O Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those who trust in you. Amen. So that is the end of Psalms 84. And this is a psalm to be sung. And this one is written by the descendants of Korah. But all right, let's go on to 85. Lord, you poured out blessings on your land. You restored the fortunes of Israel. You forgave the guilt of your people. Yes, you covered all their sins. You held back your fury. You kept back your blazing anger. Now restore us again, O God of our salvation. Put aside your anger against us once more. Will you be angry with us always? Will you prolong your wrath to all generations? Won't you revive us again so your people can rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I listen carefully to what God the Lord is saying, for he speaks peace to his faithful people, but let them not return to their foolish ways. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him so our land will be filled with his glory. Unfailing love and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed. Truth springs up from the earth and righteousness smiles down from heaven. Yes, the Lord pours down his blessings. Our land will yield its bountiful harvest. Righteousness goes as a herald before him, preparing the way for his steps. Amen. That is the end of Psalms 85. And this one is also a psalm to be sung and is written by the descendants of Korah. But let's go on to Psalm 86. Bend down, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Protect me, for I am devoted to you. 
Save me for I serve you and trust you. You are my God. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am calling on you constantly. Give me happiness, O Lord, for I give myself to you. O Lord, you are so good, so ready to forgive, so full of unfailing love for all who ask for your help. Listen closely to my prayer, O Lord. Hear my urgent cry. I will call to you whenever I'm in trouble and you will answer me. No pagan God is like you, O Lord. None can do what you do. All the nations you made will come and bow before you, Lord. They will praise your holy name for you are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. With all my heart, I will praise you, O Lord, my God. I will give glory to your name forever. For your love for me is very great. You have rescued me from the depths of death. O God, insolent people rise up against me. A violent gang is trying to kill me. You mean nothing to them, but you, O Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. Look down and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant. Save me, the son of your servant. Send me a sign of your favor. Then those who hate me will be put to shame. For you, O Lord, help and comfort me. Amen. So that is the end of Psalm 86. And this is a prayer of David. And what I like about this prayer is that this is a prayer that we as people of God can say on our um, on our own, even though it's a prayer of David, it's still a prayer. And I really like verses 11 through 13, where it says, teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. With all my heart, I will praise you, O Lord, my God. I will give glory to your name forever for your love for me is very great. You have rescued me from the depths of death. So that is something that we can take and make our own prayer um, to help us be more committed to God, you know, asking him to teach us his ways and to grant us purity of heart. But all right, let's go on to Psalms 87. On the holy mountain stands the city founded by the Lord. He loves the city of Jerusalem more than any other city in Israel. O city of God, what glorious things are said of you. I will count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me, also Philistia and Tyre, and even distant Ethiopia. They have all become citizens of Jerusalem. Regarding Jerusalem, it will be said, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship there, and the Most High will personally bless this city. When the Lord registers the nations, he will say, they have all become citizens of Jerusalem. The people will play flutes and sing. The source of my life springs from Jerusalem. Amen. And this is a psalm of the descendants of Korah, and it is also a song to be sung. But all right, guys, that is the end of day 157 of our Bible in a Year reading plan. I pray that you are blessed by this reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get the notifications for day 158 of our Bible in a Year reading plan. All right, everyone, have a blessed day. Bye.